Hey, welcome back to Tough Run Mel Detecting. Uh, Mr. Phil over here from Emerald City Diggers invited me out here to Morning. play around at a spot he's been going to. So, as my first target, it's a piece of copper. I don't know what it is, but all right, on to the next one. All right, everybody, uh, I just got a nickel signal here, and I dug it. It was actually bouncing around the gold range, and check it out, 1945. This is my first war nickel, so. Pretty awesome. All right, moving on. Big old hollering from Phil over here, and check out what he got. Nice button. Oh my goodness, that thing's amazing. Oh yeah, still got the shank and everything. All right, nice job, man. Hey, thanks, dude. Way to go. Yeah, good job. <laughs> the nicest piece of rebar I ever found. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> All right, welcome back. I just found the top part of a key here, and Phil over there, he found part of an old key. And J Jason? Jason? J. J. Oh, J over there is hunting down a good target, so we'll see. On to the next. I just got a nice signal here, and <laughs> it's like, according to J over here, it's a Frigidaire warranty tag. <laughs> Check out the number on that. Still got it stamped there. I'll have to clean it up a little better, but yeah, pretty cool. All right, we'll see you at the next hole. I just got a 7577 signal here and got a token that says good for five cents in trade. And I couldn't read it that well, but Jay over here read it. It says uh, Burkhart, Bremerton, Washington. So pretty awesome. Uh, I'll try and clean that up a little better later. All right, let's move on. Jay over here just got a banging signal and check this out. I'm not sure what kind of some, key it is, but I'm pretty oh, sure that's whole. It's got a triangle. That's pretty yeah. awesome. Like some kind, of, shape. some kind of winding key, I think, but I'm not sure. All right. Nice job, dude. Thank you. That's a great find. All right. Catch it the next. Look at this bottle bottom. Whoa. Milk glass. Yeah. That's nice. Sweet. All right. I just got a nice nickel, I don't know, bouncing signal here and... I just pulled the memorial over there and check it out. Looks like some kind of like pocket watch here. To clean that off, but yeah. I'm thinking that's a pocket watch. Alright. I'll show you later when I clean thing up everything up. On to the next. Alright everybody, well this is the end of my hunt with uh, Phil from Emerald City Diggers and his friend Jay. Uh, I had a pretty good time. I'll show you some of the stuff I got when I get home and get it all um, cleaned up and brushed off and stuff so all right until I get there welcome back to tough run metal detecting here uh, I just want to show you here's the layout for my hunt on Saturday with Phil um, Phil from Ener Emerald City Diggers invited me to go hunt with him and his friend Jay and he invited me to a saltwater beach where there had been a lot of history um, near his house and so we were able to go and poke around in this beach uh, these rocks and so these are my targets that I found there's a lot of cool stuff um, and some weird iron chunk there a couple of copper screws this weird thing kind of looks like a carved whale but I don't know it's very crude who knows uh, some copper brass pieces there I have no idea what this is but it set my pinpointer off, so. Um, there's my lead. I don't know what this rod thing is, if you guys know. It's in like a piece of burnt charcoal or something, who knows. Okay, piece of brass pipe, or copper pipe. Um, what else? There's all my screws and wires and Small dainty things, there's the wire ends there. A couple of large washers that sounded good. There's a brass grommet. Love that green patina on it, it's beautiful. Uh, here's something interesting. So I found this little piece and it says, Parcel Delive. I think it said Parcel Delivery. I have no idea what it went to, but you can see there. Ursel Delive. Yep, pretty awesome. I love it when things have text on them. Um, 
I did find this little square uh, rectangle piece of copper. It was bright shiny when I pulled out of the water because the green stuff was flaking off. Pretty cool. I found this hinge. Pretty awesome. Good sounding target. Now this over here, sorry for the camera work, crappy camera work. This over here was a buckle and when I was cleaning it um, with my brush there at the beach it broke on me. So, bummer. But here's the pin to it. So I got to manage to keep the pin but it snapped a piece off there. So that was kind of a bummer. I don't know if I'll be able to get any detail off that. Um, there's my beaver tabs there. This weird cap thingy. No idea. Lead sinker. What's new? This is bizarre. A bullet casing, but most of it's chewed away, except for the the head stamp part here. So, all right, with the primer. Now on to my good finds. So, here's that half a brass key that I pulled out. Pretty cool. I can't get any detail off of it. But there was something on there at one point, as you can see, kind of a writing in the um, lost in the patina there. Uh, I found three Lincolns. I think late 50s, or not late 50s, uh, middle 60s, I meant. So, all right, on to the good stuff. Check out this pocket watch. So when I was cleaning it, uh, it didn't used to have the back on it or most of the back, but it flaked off on me. So you can see the gears now, though, which I think is pretty cool. This is a pretty awesome find for me. This is my first pocket watch, so and it did have at one point some gold plating on it because you can see little pieces of it there. Must have been a pretty one. Next is this Frigidaire warranty tag. Now this thing is beautiful and it's nice and smooth. It's pretty hefty. Still got the number on the back, 438963. Pretty awesome. I love it. Alright, now this I thought was a button. However, uh, Dave Weiss uh, pointed out on IDMe Facebook group that it actually is a cufflink without the back part. And I didn't even think about that, so thank you Dave. For the help there. It's pretty cool. I don't know whether it's an M or W, but it could be a W for Dave Wise's comment. There you go. Cufflink. Alright, on to my very first silver coin I've ever found. A 1945 beautiful war nickel. You can actually see the date still on it, which is pretty awesome. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. It's the Philadelphia mint mark there. You can see the P above the dome. Pretty cool. This wafer thin disc, which I think is a dime. And last but not least, this beautiful trade token that I found. Now, I did some research. It says good for five cents in trade. It turned out really nice after brushing it clean. It says A.T. Burkhart, Bremerton, WN, which is the way they used to abbreviate Washington, which tells me this is a very old token. And in fact, I did some research and I looked it up, and A.T. Burkhart was a tobacco dealer uh, that lived, or had a shop due east, immediately due east of the naval shipyard there, the historic naval shipyard. So right where the Bremerton Terminal, ferry terminal is now, uh, is where this guy's shop used to be. Because uh, it says, uh, I looked him up and it says uh, 309 Front Street for the address. And that's where Front Street used to be, according to an old 1909 map that I found. So I'll show some pictures uh, here in the wrap-up picture shots. And you can see what I'm talking about. But yeah, pretty awesome. I love history, especially when it's close by. I love tokens. And yeah, it's a beautiful token for being in the ocean. So, all right. Now that does it for my wrap-up. Sorry, it was a little long, but I had a lot of targets I wanted to show you guys. So I appreciate all your support, uh, especially thank you, big thank you to Phil uh, from Emerald City Diggers. If you haven't checked them out, go and watch their stuff. They they hunt all over Seattle and all over Washington uh, and find some pretty awesome stuff. But uh, thank you, Phil, for inviting me out to your spot. Um, and 
I look forward to maybe hunting with you again in the future. And thank you all for subscribing to my channel. I appreciate all of your comments, all the people who support me in this endeavor again. And I won't make this go much longer, but again, thank you uh, for all your support. So I'll catch you at the next hunt.